Hi there, this is a tutorial, my first one, so bear with me. I'm not a native speaker, but I'll do my very best. This is about the super whites we find in a lot of footage shot by the GH4. And uh, almost all uh, content I come across on Vimeo uh, seems to suffer from this super white uh, issue we have. And um, I thought it'd be nice to make a short tutorial how to fix this. So let's dive into it right away. We've got some clips we, I downloaded from Vimeo as uh, these are the originals and not the Vimeo compression ones. So these are the clips as they were um, uploaded to Vimeo. And uh, well, if you look at them, they're quite nice. Here's a cat and um, I'm quite fond of this cat. And here's a nice uh, sunset. And uh, some of the footage seems to suffer from quite harsh highlights. So like this shot, the clouds over here are uh, blown out completely. They're uh, extremely white. And um, first thing I want to do is, is is put on my sunglasses. So um, I was wondering if there was any way to fix this, if there was more uh, detail going on in the super whites. So I downloaded the originals and um, well, this one is already graded and if I look at it uh, on the timeline and I view it in the scope, um, it's quite obvious that the white in those clouds is really the, um, the only thing that's there. When I try to bring them down using the fast color corrector, there is no more detail that's been revealed. The white turns gray, but there's no detail coming in but this is because it's already been graded and this look has been baked in but if i go to the original footage we still see that same uh, overexposed cloud but now when i use the fast color corrector and i turn the values down we see there is detail going on up here so i wondered well maybe this is just uh, one single error but the more footage i found online the more it seems to suffer from this particular error. If we take this shot, for example, we see, um, we put it on the timeline, like so. We see quite a nice picture, but stuff over here is blown out and also on his head is not really what it should look like. So we're gonna try to use the fast color corrector on this one as well and set the white output level to 235. And what you see is you get back those highlights and they've not been clipped and these window panes were all extremely white and now they've turned back to a nice soft roll off in the highlights. So what's, what's going on here? Well, the GH4 camera uses values from 16 to 255 for its Luma values and um, usually the, the 709 regulations say you, you should only go up to 235 so almost all software expects whites to be at 235 and black to be at 16 while this camera goes all the way up to 255 it's like this one goes to 11 and that's great because you got more um, gradients to choose for more bits to grade but um, you need to get them back into the legal territory so well this shot's obviously so much overexposed not even this is going to help much but we see that it did something for the detail in the highlights which when i turn it off are almost completely lost so there is something there so what should people do when they shoot with this camera and try to upload it directly to vimeo or youtube you should not use the 255 settings you should Keep it between 16 and 235 because that's what Vimeo expects to be where black and white is. If you use those higher values, you should use a color correction like so. And you see a little more details being brought in, a little more color towards the sun. This is almost a smooth roll off to the highlights, of course. It's very hard to make a smooth roll off right into the sun, but. I think it's doing quite a good job. So all you GH4 owners out there, and I soon hope to be one of you, um, make sure you use the 16 to 235 settings when not grading and direct delivery to a client or to YouTube or Vimeo. And when you do use them 
make sure you grade and you grade them back into the legal values. Um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. This is really, really nice footage. I can't wait to buy this one. I think this is ungraded directly from the camera. So, so it's, it's really, really great. Okay, my name is Flores and ta-ta.